Hi again everybody, it's uh, another Monday, the start of another week and uh, as we uh, prepare for Easter uh, at the end of this week it's a, a good opportunity as always for us to reflect on God's word and God's wisdom as found in Proverbs. Uh, we're looking at uh, snippets from, verse, uh, from uh, Proverbs chapter 14 and I want to jump on now to verse 20. The poor are shunned even by their neighbours but the rich have many friends. It, it seems a, a strange fact of life that the rich and usually influential um, have little problem in attracting friends. We all want to sort of gather around the, the, the popular guys, the in crowd. We like to be seen with those who are clearly successful. Those who are not successful, those who are steeped in poverty, or need are perhaps a little less popular. Um, we fear sometimes, genuinely fear being with them, perhaps because we expect um, to be asked to give to them more and more. And uh, so, speaking very generally, people will often avoid them. But for uh, verse 21, it is a sin to despise one's neighbor, but blessed is the one who is kind to the needy. We are not to despise or uh, keep away from or reject or have any concern or fear of our neighbours, whether they're rich or poor. As God's people, we are to be as generous with our time, with our love, with our interest, uh, as uh, for, for anybody uh, equally uh, and for everybody. Uh, we're certainly not to despise the people who we are in society with, but we're to show them, demonstrate to them the reality of a Christian lifestyle. <coughs> One of the things that's challenging me just at the moment is how do we reach out better to our communities? How do we share something of the reality of the love of Jesus in, in real ways, in practical ways? Because I, I think what's becoming clear is that huddling together as uh, righteous do-gooders in a church service, that's a shocking generalisation isn't it, but huddling together in our church services doesn't reach other people who will never set foot across the threshold, but yet God has called us to go, Jesus said to go and make disciples, uh, and so our task as his people, his representatives, his agents, is to step out of our church buildings and demonstrate to our community the reality of the love of God. And that is done, that is portrayed and conveyed as much as anything by the way that we treat the rest of society. How do we look after our neighbours? How do we um, exude the warmth and welcome of our Father God to everybody that we meet? And how do we show his kindness, his grace, his mercy to all who are needy? For after all, anybody who doesn't know Jesus is needy. Let's pray together. Father, please, uh, would you take my waffle and make sense of it? Would you help us to reflect upon how we might show you in our neighbourhoods for your glory? Amen. God bless you. See you tomorrow.